Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, Prince and Trader here with uh, Mr. Topstep with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Yesterday was uh, a pretty slow day uh, for the most part. It picked up in the last couple of hours, but it highlighted a couple things about the market that I really want to touch on. Um, I mentioned on the chat yesterday, and I mentioned to, to my members, that uh, for whatever reason, and I think I put this out on Twitter, uh, uh, for whatever reason, uh, the E-mini right now wants to trade up into and around its exponential moving averages, uh, the Globex exponential moving averages, whether it's the 50, the 100, or the 200. Uh, they have been good levels to lean on as far as uh, longer term, you know, swing kind of support and resistance. Um, and, you know, swing at this point in this kind of market can be anywhere from, you know, four to six hours, whereas it used to be, you know, say two or three days. But if you look at a daily chart, you can really see how those moving averages have uh, marked uh, decent uh, areas of tops and bottoms and moves. The Globex uh, trade tonight. Uh, stopped uh, our high right now 12.16.25 uh, that's being held in really nicely by the 100 day exponential moving average which on my chart is 12.16.34 uh, why is the e-mini trading with its Globex exponential moving averages I have no idea and I don't care um, I just know that that's what's working right now so I'm going to trade it and we've been trading it in the in, on the IM with a lot of success once we have that figured out, the market will go ahead and do something else. So you've just got to, you know, this is what's working uh, now, and, and, you know, when that changes, you react to that. Uh, as far as volatility levels went, it was a very nice day for us. Uh, our upper volatility level at 1225.75 was tested in the morning, a couple ticks short, which set up a, a really nice short trade, short entry for us. Um, that pivot support zone I talked about yesterday at 1212 to 1213 ended up coinciding with our lower volatility level. So we moved down there to test that level. Uh, we broke and retested it from underneath, which set up another nice short trade to the lows. So it was a good day for the volatility levels yesterday. Um, the, the one other thing I'll mention very quickly before we get into support and resistance is, yesterday's market really tested your patience midday. It was slow, it was choppy, it was really boring. Trading is boring, it should not be exciting. If it's exciting, then you're probably over trading or hyper trading. It's boring. And what you need to do as a trader is to understand when the conditions are not in your favor and not to trade during those times. Um, yesterday midday was not the time to trade. And if you found yourself trading yesterday trying to grab a tick here or a tick there, uh, basically to break up the monotony, that usually doesn't end well. So. Um, you know, just uh, that was just something that kind of crossed my mind yesterday midday that I wanted to reiterate to everybody. Um, you know, if you wait till conditions are right for you and you trade at that time, uh, you'll find uh, that does wonders for uh, your, your P&L uh, on a consistent basis going forward. So what are we looking at today? Well, I'll give you support and resistance. Uh, my upside resistance levels haven't changed. Uh, 1264 25, 1253 61, uh, 1241, 1237, the 200 day exponential at 1231, uh, 12, uh, the 200 day moving average. Uh, then uh, we have uh, the 1226 uh, level uh, that we tested uh, the highs from yesterday. Uh, and then uh, 100 day, uh, 121634. 34. Our daily pivot comes in today at 12.11.92. You can get those on the Top Step website. Three-day pivot at 12.07.75. Uh, Nine-day pivot at 11.94. Uh, there's a descending trend line that I've been talking about with my, with my subscribers that comes into play 11.91.75. And then the 50-day moving average, 11.89.67, which also coincides with a double fib level just below at 11.86, 11.87. And the 20-day exponential, 1184.06. That should get us through uh, today. So have a great day. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader for Mr. Topstep. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Trade them well.